holiday lights is officially done for the year. Aaron Stuvey has more with what the teardown effort looks like and why this year was unique for the annual tradition. A sign that another holiday season has come and gone. The new year kicked off in Mankato with the deconstruction of Kiwanis Holiday Lights. More than 40 volunteers started work at 7.30 Monday morning to work through the day. Teardown is complex. Many pieces need to be moved to storage to be brought back next year, and a crane is needed to disassemble the center tree. Organizers say that Kiwanis setup and teardown has become a well-oiled machine over the years, and that the volunteer effort is what makes it all possible. We have a lot of people that donate equipment to us because over the years we've learned certain equipment will help us move a lot faster. Uh, and with that, every year we get a lot of the same volunteers coming back today and they know what to do and it all works pretty well. 2023 was a unique year for Kiwanis Holiday Lights as mild weather meant that the light show never saw its typical covering of snow. But leaders say that the warm weather didn't hold the show back at all as warm weather meant more opportunities to travel the show on foot. Seems to be a good year. With good weather, more people were coming out. Uh, we had more walkers than I think we've ever had. We're still tabulating numbers. I think overall it was a better experience for a lot more people this year because it was so easy to get around. People weren't so cold and they could enjoy the whole park. Once teardown is complete, organizers plan on meeting up in just a couple short months to put the new plan together for when the lights open up again this November. In Mankato, Aaron Stuvey, KUYC News Now. Let's check in with 